So a viewer has asked the question regarding the 12 volt power supply that comes with uh, said cheap Chinese heaters that have the IEC connector for the 12 volts on the back. Uh, one of them that's supposed to supply uh, mains power in the box and then 12 volts come out of the box over the kettle lead and power your diesel heater. Now they contacted me saying they had taken the unfused plug, hold on, the unfused plug which is one of one of them they'd cut that off to put a fused plug on and found out that the wires inside were very very thin now I haven't done this yet, I will cut the plug off at the end of the video and we'll have a look at the wires to see because they said I think they measured it, it was like half a millimetre across which if depending on what wire gauge table you look up is good for about one amp of um, power conduction so their power brick might not be the same as mine but we're going to test the one that I have and see what heat gets what heats up and what doesn't and I apologize for the weather and the rain you can probably hear in the background but it was off a minute ago and it's come back again <sighs> so we're doing this again because guess who forgot to turn on the thermal imager and record a video when they were starting. So this is warm and they're warm and everything's had one run at least. So this time I'm going to press the button. I have started the video on the thermometer. Right and let's turn on the power thing. So to start with we've only got one glow plug because it's only a 15 amp output and it can't power two glow plugs at the same time. But once this glow plug's warm and it's running then we can I can join the, the next one in and run it at full power. So at the moment we're consuming just under half an amp on one glow plug. So that is up there. Half an amp. Half an amp, right. So that's just half an amp. Now let us connect the other glow plug in. I'm only using, I'm not afraid of being electrocuted, I'm afraid of being burnt at the moment. Oh, I'll come around here. Right. There. Join in your pal. Like that. Oh, come on now. Make a half decent connection. It's making a connection. Right. Now, very briefly, it pulls us up to one amp, and you'll see a drop off, obviously, as the glow plug is heating up, and then it yeah, consumes less power the hotter it gets. So, there it goes, it's disappearing away down to one amp. Right, but what's getting hot, apart from the glow plugs, is the question. Let us peer into the thermal imager. Uh, the glow plugs are certainly hot. I don't think the uh, box is particularly hot. Let me see. Uh, it's got a bit of warmth. Let's switch the image just to pure infrared. Glow plugs are warm. This bit of wire's hot because it's next to glow plugs, but I don't think it's actually... This bit's not. I think it's warming up. And this is getting warm, but it's not... And my input wire's definitely not getting warm. Not really. I mean, what's ambient? Where's a, where's a black body? There's a black body. So the black body's... Matte black body is slightly warmer than the, well not slightly warm, you know what I mean, it's less, actually it's shown, it is heating up, but it's not heating up a lot. What we'll do is, right that's all nice and hot, that's hot, that's heating up, that wire could be slightly heating up, how's the power thing, it's got a warmth about it. I'll leave this running for, uh, let's let's give it like 15 minutes and then we will come back and see what's overhead or not overhead. Right, well, it's been a little while and the glow plug's still hot. This output wire to the glow plugs, uh, it's not really hot than it was before. The power supply is kind of still slowly, slowly getting hotter and hotter and hotter. But the input wire still no significant heating and the plug also doesn't appear to have any actual warmth in it so we might have got lucky and got one that's actually got a uh, copper inside it uh, hold on let me just stop the thermal imaging stop that and 
point you at the power supply thing, not the power supply, the plug, that is consuming uh, just under 120 watts. So that's ever so slightly less than your heater would be uh, on startup. But we've been running it a lot longer than just the brief few minutes that a heater would be running on. So let's turn it off. Let's turn that off, let them cool down, and we shall, excuse me, a little thermal camera, take the plug off and see what the wires are like inside, because, well, it's a non molded plug, so we don't want that because it's got no fuse. Now, the only advantage of the chap with the really thin wires I can think of is that your wires act as a fuse. That's your only fuse between, well, obviously between here and here. There's probably an internal fuse in there. I mean, it doesn't matter so much on the output side because that'll just trip the power supply into a reset loop like it does if you try to start it with uh, two uh, glow plugs attached. Now, let's just chop a bit of wire off and strip it back so we can see the conductors inside. I don't think these ones are too bad. I mean, they're, pre they're pretty thin. They are pretty thin. And, oh, and aluminium too. As I've learned from Big Clive, if you can't get it to twist into being a nice tight uh, bundle, hold on, let me move enough things out of the way so it actually switches into a close up. So, see there, if I take them and twist them, and, hold on, and they won't stay twisted, that's a good sign that it's copper coated aluminium and not actually copper because they won't stay like um, you know uh, if you've done copper and twisted it together it stays twisted very very easily but these do not want to twist together which makes me think they are copper coated aluminium and not actual copper conductors unlike the other end which are going to be roasting just now the other end the output the 12 volt side is, uh, let me just try and not get burned here, is a lot more beefy, thick, indeed, than the, let me just pull one, pull one off for us there. Come on, David, try not, try not to burn yourself. Use your, use your snaps. Come on now, let, let go. Man, I've actually twisted this one really well. Also, the temperature has played its part. Right, untwist. Untwist, please. There, go. How hot is this? Uh, it's not that bad. It, ah, I lied! Ah, it was just delayed reaction. Ah, ha, 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 that's roasting. Get off. Ha, 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 ha. Son of a bitch, just let, let go. And he fought with the wires for some time before they let go. You know what? Just, just get off. Right. Here is the wire from the 12 volt output end and you can see there is much, much thicker than the other end, which you would expect because you can carry higher currents over higher voltages at thinner wires. So there's a comparison. The one on the left, that is the 12 volt output and the one on the right is the mains input. Now this stuff, this twists really nice. This is. Focus. There, that twists beautifully. That is actual copper copper. Not copper coated aluminium like this stuff. Focus. There. Yeah. So, the output side's copper. The input side's probably copper coated aluminium. What is the rate of this? This is a 12 amp. 12 volt, 12 amp. And it has... It did the thing. This one has done the thing and didn't melt or catch on fire. But your mileage may vary. That just because this one doesn't didn't do anything, didn't uh, melt the wires, doesn't mean whatever batch or whatever version you get hasn't got the same thinness in the wires. But that thinness, thickness, thinness, it took an, it took the load to run the diesel here quite happily without heating up, which is nice. Now, obviously, if you can, well, no, not if you can. You should cut off. I've lost it. I think I flew the floor. Cut off the no, there's the non-fused plug and put a fused one on, please. It'll, it's it's just safety. It's, I know I'm not the biggest safety fan, but if a fault was to occur in this device, 
at least there's some better chance of it blowing the fuse in the plug if there's a fuse there rather than it just continues like to arc inside heat up and perhaps start a fire it's not, I mean, it's the fuse, yes, if you're using it in the house and you've got RCDs or RCBOs or whatnot, or your everything's fused and whatnot, but it's, for the cost of a plug, what is it, like, I think you get them in, like, for a pound, for a pound, just put a fuse plug on it, and then put the correct size uh, fuse in it, which is probably a three, three amp fuse, a three amp fuse will be enough, you don't want a 13, 13's too much, you're supposed to match your fuse to uh, your current draw so a three amp fuse would probably be absolutely fine any questions comments anything like that please leave them down below i will try my best to answer them and as always thanks for watching